guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my brows. I have a brow routine already on my channel, but it's a little bit dated. I use some different products now, so hopefully you enjoy. A lot of you have asked um, for me to do this video, so I hope you enjoy it and I'll speak to you soon. So first of all, I grab a spoolie, just any will do. This one is from Soeco, and I comb through my brows and push them all upwards so they're going as high as they can and it went all the same direction because sometimes you know they might be like all down like that and I'm like oh no so if I brush them all upwards in the place where we want them to lay next I use Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the shade taupe with a MAC 266 brush but any angled brush will do a thin angled brush if possible because some can be quite thick but this is a nice one because it's nice and thin I love dip brow because it's so buttery and creamy. Sometimes um, after a while of having the product, it does go a little bit dry on top, but all you have to do is put some eye drops in, mix it around a little bit, and it'll be good as new. So what I do is I put my brush in the dip brow pomade, and I, I don't start at the front of the brow because we leave that bit till the end. I start around here, and I angle upwards towards the arch. So right now we're carving out the shape of the brow. So we've done the bottom half now, so go towards the tail. So you've just got a bit of the brow there. And then I go above, so I go to the top part of the brow now, up to the arch, curve it round with the brush and drag it down. So you've got the outline. Then I grab some more product and I fill it in. And clean up any lines at the same time. So now we're going to do the front of the brow and I'm going to use the brush and because it's had a lot of product on already I'm not going to put any more product on it but I angle the brush around that corner, a bit there and I'm just going to fill that in and then brush it upwards. So we're just creating a lighter shade at the front. So we, we don't want any harsh darkness at the front of the brow, we want that to kind of be softer so that is why I just don't put any extra product on and I just run it, the brush which has had the product on at the front of the brow. And then I turn the brush this way, so I can just go like that a little bit. Grab your spoolie again and give them a little brush through. Check there's no place where you need to add any more product. Just gonna add a little bit to the tail. And I don't do this every time I do my brows because I'm a little bit lazy, but <laughs> if you want to keep your brows in place then I'd recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel, and I'm going to pop that through. It's kind of like super glue, it keeps your brows just in place all day. Dip Brow does that a little bit as well because it's kind of, not sticky, but it um, it's not just like pencil, it's a bit, um, well it's obviously thicker and more of a creamier product so it does hold your brows a little bit, but this just makes them go exactly where you want them and this can create more of a fuller brow look as well because you can push the brow up a bit higher if you need to. So that is how I create my brows guys, I really hope that was helpful and leave me some comments below of what videos you'd like to see next. I'll speak to you soon. Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing my August beauty favourites. I haven't done a favourites in what seems like a long time but sometimes I don't feel like I have enough to show you that I love because when I love something, I use it for so long and I just, it's my favourite for the whole year. 